The easiest way to get more strawberry plants is to plant the runners that come off the existing strawberries. As you see, that little cluster is at the crown of the new plant is what the roots will be formed by. And it is no simpler than putting that little crown with the root nodules facing down, keeping it in place. I'm using um, landscape staples here. Just keep that in touch with the dirt, with the soil, and it will just put out roots because that's kind of its job. It wants to set roots. Uh, it's very good at doing that. And all you and now I let my runners go uh, quite long, quite a long time, because I wanted to do this video to show how easy it is uh, to plant these. And within two weeks of filming this video, all of the connections to the mother plant will be snipped because there will be a root system. So here in August, uh, we have about 60 days till our first really deep frost, uh, but this will give these plants enough time to set a full uh, array of roots so they can make it through the winter with the rest of the strawberry. Realize that runners take energy from the mother plant. So maybe think about how many new strawberry plants you would like and let that many plants uh, focus a bit on producing runners and keep the other plants free from runners so they will focus on fruit production, which is really why we grow strawberries, right? To get strawberries off the plants. Many times on these runners, there is another runner uh, running towards the terminal end uh, of the plant, and you want to cut that off because you don't want the little runner plant that you're planting or that you're securing to the soil to have to give energy uh, to a plant that it is now helping grow. So you want to make sure you're down to one, uh, you're just planting one little plant with nothing attached to it other than the, uh, the stem to the mother plant. Now I think here it might be easier to see uh, because we're doing it in a bucket, but it really is just this easy. Clip off any terminal uh, further runners that are coming off of the primary runner and just secure it. And again, we're using uh, landscape staples, but you could use, you know, any anything that you have, a little piece of wire, whatever, hairpin, just to keep it in place. Now, another thing to consider is that the average life of a strawberry plant is about three years. So this is a great way in that third year to produce new plants uh, that can replace the uh, old ones so that you can have a crop for absolutely no money. Hey, thank you so much for watching. This is Audrey from Real Food Comes Dirty. See you next time.